yeah hey guys um uh i'm gonna be talking about um the nexus s and yeah this fair enough this isn't the newest phone um but i'm running android 4.0 which isn't out yet and um this is an sdk build um that i got from xda and i can't remember the developer's name but i'll put it in the description but um yeah uh just to show you that i'm not bullshitting you or anything um I'll show you. There you go. Nexus S, Android 4.0. Um, yeah, this is this. Like I said, is an SDK build, so um, it has a lot of bugs. But right now, it's looking to being a proper stable ROM because of um the. Sheer amount of tweets he's done to the SDK build, and the fact that he's actually signed everything to use Nexus S drivers. So now he actually supports the resolution properly, the screen works properly. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I'm just basically gonna be talking about um, different features. So um, we'll start with um, portals. Uh, a portal in Android 4.0 is basically a folder, and um, it has all your apps in there basically so you can create a portal and you have a little funky black hole kind of thing there um but if you want to create one all you do is um say you want to get um google plus and you mix it with te like texting you have a portal there for texting and google plus <coughs> so um yeah, basically, if you want to get rid of it, you move it out, remove, and there you go, it's back to texting. Um, but yeah, it makes it a lot easier. I mean, there's a lot of stuff missing from this build. Like, for some reason, it doesn't support Angry Birds, apart from Angry Birds Rio. And um, it doesn't support Plume, um, for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, but one thing it does support is, um, from stock, it has um, Gmail 4 which is basically um, a free improved version of Gmail with more um, options for you to, you know, for your emails in, as well as having a, you know, a widget. But I do not have this installed um, at the moment because I was having uh, syncing problems with the, the whole thing, so I got rid of the, the application. But, yeah, when you get Android 4.0, uh, you will be getting uh, Gmail 4.0, installation which is quite funky it's like a very transparent looking widget which is scrollable as well so it's not too good well not too bad even but um either way um the widgets are here rather than you know holding the home screen so if you want to i don't know um get oh let me find a good widget um yeah um let's say you want to get a google voice widget place it anywhere there you go. What I like about this ROM is that a lot of things are transparent. And it just makes it look a whole lot better. Um, I'm sorry for the uh, quality, guys, and the, the my voice is completely messed up. But I'm only doing this to show you what it can do. Um, another thing is that it defragments things better, so um, you won't get like random radio dumps and you know files decompressing on themselves and you know your memory dying basically um it's pretty stable i think this is the first official android build that i've i can honestly say feels like a solid build and not just broken um and i'm an android fan so that that says a lot um but yeah um aside from all of that um you have uh you have um a new texting thing which um hopefully won't show any numbers oh it did it did um um and yeah i have signal as well so i do like the dino things picture hopefully it doesn't take too long because um but yeah we've been talking about battlefield <laughs> um so yeah ain't too bad um it's a bit boring um but 
no worries. Yeah, my uh, mail application is just forced closed, so <laughs> it probably doesn't like receiving MMSs. But either way, um, um, this build is pretty good. I mean, um, you'll get a lot out of it. Another thing is, before I finish this video, is that um, it supports landscape natively. Um, if I just lay it on the table right here. Um, right, um, if I lay it on the table and um, show you, yeah, it's native uh, landscape. And um, uh, let's try this. And yeah. So yeah, it just looks and feels a lot better. I mean, it's a lot smoother, a lot better on the battery life. And overall, um, I'm just very happy with the way Google really tried to change the design of um, Android and make it more um, efficient, if anything. Um, one thing that does bug me is the fact you can't add widgets from your home screen directly. You actually have to go into a menu to do it. But um, again, uh, I'd rather look at the widgets pick what ones look nicer and just place them anywhere I want. It only takes like two seconds longer anyway, so either way, um um I'll write up an article on this later and hopefully keep you posted. Um if you wanna just read up on my website, um just type in www.leetsquad or leetmods dot com. Um one's for gaming and one's for general development and hacking if you will. Um but yeah, we'll ha we'll have all the latest there, so <clears throat> feel free to visit us.